it's like I've never seen this <laughs> and, and like even the airports were pretty like empty that's crazy and arriving here like um I didn't do school for one year so like having the campus empty like didn't stroke me but yeah I mean it's pretty like awesome like and awkward at the same time <laughs> And, and you, you mentioned that you, you really enjoyed the, the interactions with, with Turge and whatnot. What was, what was it like trying to get to know him in this kind of setting and then what it's, what it's been like for the last couple of months being on campus? So at first, like, when you talk with him, he's really nice. He's really like, I like, like, he's pretty easy to understand because sometimes you have accents. Like, <laughs> I have an accent too, I know it, but like... <laughs> He's, he's pretty nice. He's, like, so supportive. Like, the difference is, like, when you see him, like, on camera, you don't really get, like, how he's really, how he really is. But he was pretty great and, like, cool. And then I met him in person, and he's so much better than what I thought. So <laughs> that's great. <laughs> so you got, so that, that worked out pretty well just by itself. Yeah, exactly. I think a great coach is always awesome. And last thing for me, just the basketball element. How is that adjustment kind of going for you at this point, knowing obviously this is just the preseason and all that, but, but how's, that, how's that working out so far? I would say it's going pretty well. Like going back for six months uh, was pretty like difficult. Mm -hmm. I would say like for me, I was like pretty stuck home. And I had to do everything by myself. Like, I train only by myself every day. Okay. So I wasn't as much as, I think, in shape as others mm -hmm. that maybe had, like, a bit of team plays. But I'm getting in and I'm getting in better every day. And I'm pretty, like, confident, like, I will be ready. Well, I'm sure you won't forget the first five or six months that you've had anything to do with Maryland. So yeah. congrats and, and, and good luck this season. Thank you very much. Our, our notes, uh, Bruce Posner from Turp Talk. Uh, I'm sure Patrick asked you this, but can you can just briefly describe how you wound up coming to Maryland? What was the process? How long was it involved? You know, my listeners are really curious to hear it. So it was pretty long because, uh, like, doing all the NCA stuff and then, like, moving on, like, connecting teams and everything, I think it took around, like, three months and a half, something like that. And, like, uh, the biggest part was, like, I had to send all the grades, you know, like, for NCA and uh, for the past, past four years because I couldn't do, like, the SAT. So they took a lot of time, like, watching everything and, like uh, – it took so much time. But after this, I started, like, talking with teams. And Marilyn came up out of nowhere. I don't, don't even know. And they heard about me. But that's pretty, like, awesome. That's funny. And did, you know they just, about Mar did you know about Marilyn? Not really, actually. they just like, oh, we'd like, we talk, like to talk about to you, like, like, just talk, like, do a Zoom and, like, present your, like, um, like team and everything and i was like oh why not and then i was like oh they're so great it's so nice and now i'm here i mean that's pretty awesome well we uh, this is wayne also at turp talk we agree with you it's one of the greatest places on earth and you've got a heck of an arena there and, and, a, yeah. and a really good team for terrapin fans that haven't seen you play what are they going to enjoy out of your game what position do you play uh and what is what's your greatest skill set so my greatest skill set, I would say, is around, like, uh, screening, rolling, and passing with the ball. Like, uh, I would say if they want to enter nice plays, uh, I'm pretty great, like, finding, like, the guy, like, make, make, taking a back door and just giving him the ball, like, a good bounce pass or something like this. I'm pretty get great with this. Have you I also have Mason here, one of the young Terps. Uh, we've been... you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My question for you is, who's your basketball idol? How'd you get into basketball? And then, you know, who do you kind of one look at overseas? And then who's your favorite player in the NBA here? Uh, my favorite player was Pau Gasol. Mm -hmm. I think it was really an awesome player. And as a center, he was really great. He had a lot of skill sets and he could do many things like shooting or even like posting. So he was a great player. I really loved him. Right, and then how did you get into the game of basketball uh, in Switzerland? Uh, that's pretty awkward because <laughs> actually uh, I was just like uh, shopping, like glasses. 
mm. and I met an old basketball player. Like he was retired, and he just said, "Oh man, with your body, you have to play basketball. There's no way you're not doing basketball." And when he knew I didn't do basketball, he contacted a friend that is, was coached like around my city, and that guy made me start, and that's how everything began. Wow, that. Hey, Arno, that is a great story about about yeah. that. That's that's definitely a uh, unique. Uh, yeah. Arno, your your English is excellent. All right. Thank you very much. All right, tell us about. I, I hear you're multilingual. Tell us about that a little bit. Uh, I would say it's because, like, uh, for Switzerland, it's pretty important to speak many languages, especially because we have, like, four different national languages. We have German, French, Italian, and another one that's, like, less spoken, but it also exists. And when we go to school, like, around high school, we do, like, English, French, German at the same time. And I had for myself even Italian at the same time, so... We do so many languages, it's so important to find work and to just study in general. Yeah, how important do you think was that with Coach Turgeon knowing that he'd have to go through that process as well? I think uh, he really liked it because he mentioned it like twice or three times when we Zoomed and he said, oh, that's so nice, you speak really well, you understand well. And I think like for him it's better if he has a like, player that can understand what he's saying, like when he's trying to tell him and if he's trying to make me improve, like if you say, oh, you have to do this. If I get it immediately, it's better, I think. So when did you start to be really tall? How old were you? <laughs> That's pretty funny. I, I was always like the tallest, you know, in like the class pictures and everything. And uh, I would say I was six foot three when I was, 12. Wow. And I kind of slowed down because between 12 and 13, I really like grew up a lot. And then I kind of stopped down at 14 and I continued to slowly grow to 6'10. So, what was your original sport? Are you a hockey, a soccer guy? Uh, track, track and field. Yeah. Let me guess the high jump. I was pretty good at it, but I did everything. I, did, I don't know the word, but heptathlon and decathlon. I don't know if decathlon, that's... Decathlon, yes. Yeah. All, all 10 sports. Exactly. Is, is there anything behind the number 31? Did you pick that or did they give that to you? Uh, there's a small meaning behind it. Like, uh, it's not crazy, but I was the 13, like, all my basketball career, even it's only four years. I had 13, so I wanted to choose something new, you know, like, it's a new start, so I wanted something new. And I felt like 31 is kind of like a good thing, like just turning 13 into 31. It was pretty funny. Bruce, you have anything else? No, that's about it. Hey, welcome to the country. Welcome to Maryland. We can't wait to uh, see you in action, Arno. And everybody's looking so forward to see you uh, added to this team. Yeah. Thanks um, for yeah. being a turf. Thank you we very much. It. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.